issue of party. It's an issue of what do Nigerians want at this time. And it's an issue of, again, where are we putting Nigeria in the Committee of Nations? So many nations have moved beyond manual results uh, declaration. Now move to transmit to so Nigeria be left behind and not to transmit results electronically. So if, from what I've heard today, that that what the Joint Committee proposed, I think it's a good development for Nigeria and for democracy. And I will urge them, the two chambers, the House of Representatives and the Senate, to abide by that recommendation by the Joint Committee of the two chambers. Because it is for their own interest. And I commend the Senate President and the Speaker of the House and all the principal officers and the committee members who have felt that look the most listening for what is good for Nigeria and what is good for Nigerians and listening to Nigerians. I'm a very happy person and I commend you. When you do the right thing, we commend you. When you do the one that is not right, we say this one you have done is not right. But for this one they have proposed, I think we need to recommend, uh, recommend them. A party could adopt a method, procedure in electing who represent them at various levels. That is not for the another assembly to dictate, to, to, to say, look, you must do it by direct or indirect. No, 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 no. no. That's not democracy. Let the party, that should be an internal affair of the party. How do we elect those who will represent us? Is it by direct method or by indirect? That shouldn't be for the electoral act to provide. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, I will also think that the National Assembly should look at it that doing that is interfering in the internal politics of the parties, and that will not go well. River State Governor Naysom Wiki has commended the National Assembly on his decision to allow the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, determine the use of electronic voting and transfer of results. The governor said the resolution of the National Assembly Joint Committee to allow the National the Electra umpire to transmit election results electronically was a good development for Nigeria and democracy. Governor Wike stated this in Port Harcourt yesterday in reaction to the decision of the Senate to rescind its earlier stance against transmission of results electronically. He said, I think it is good news to hear that the Joint Committee of the House of Representatives and the state agreed for INEC to transmit results electronically. This is good news to hear. Like I've always said, what is important now is what do people want. The moment you do what the people want, you see happiness everywhere. The River State Governor, who has been a proponent of a transparent electoral system, observed that many nations had moved beyond manual result declaration, and Nigeria could not afford in the 21st century to be left behind, he said. I think it is a good development for Nigeria and democracy, and I will urge them, the two chambers, the House of Representatives and the Senate, to abide by the recommendation by the Joint Committee of the two chambers because it is for their own interest. And I commend the Senate President and the Speaker, House of Representatives, all the principal officers and members who felt that they must listen to what is good for Nigeria and what is good for Nigerians. Speaking further on the amendment of the Electoral Act, Governor Wike stated that the issue of direct or indirect primaries should be the exclusive decision of the political parties in the country. He maintained that it would be unfair for the National Assembly to prescribe for political parties how to conduct their primaries. A party could adopt a method procedure in electing who represent them at various levels. That is not for the National Assembly to detect that you must do it by direct or indirect method. That is not democracy. That should be an internal affair of the party. Governor Wike insisted that the National Assembly prescribing how political parties conduct their primaries was tantamount to interference in the internal politics of the parties. He stated, the National Assembly should realize that doing this is interfering in the internal politics of the parties, and that will not all go well. The governor also faulted the bill sponsored by the Deputy Senate President seeking for the establishment of two Nigerian law campuses in each of the six geopolitical zones. 
He stressed that the proposal was not in tandem with current realities as the existing Nigerian law school campuses were grossly underfunded. Wiki stressed, the National Assembly has not been able to give them the money to fund the law school. Are you saying they should establish two schools in each zone? We know Wiki has been uh, one of the governors that have been um, kicking the Senate on this their decision because them is the one that has been uh, that refers to the senate as buhari senate we know he's a no-nonsense governor and um one of the opposition um governors that um is very outspoken he doesn't mind his words when he wants to speak right now he's reacting to um um the senate finally bowing to pressure and accepting electronic transmission of results before now, we know they gave all sorts, all sorts of um, excuse, lame excuse that um, um, there is no power supply everywhere, that there will be challenges, no network in some villages, that um, there should be no electronic transmission of results. All of this, we know that it was APC's plot to find a way to rig election because electronic transmission of results is one way that we can eliminate rigging. There will be nothing like they've stolen the ballot box. They should still be online and they can't do anything if it's online. As long as soon as the uh, result, the election is concluded, results are already online. Wherever wherever people are, different locations, they're already hearing the results that Enugu is this, Anambra is this, Eboyi is this. So the, everyone is hearing the results. And this is uh, one way to uh, uh, ensure that the people are reaping the dividends of democracy. So it's really congratulating the Senate President Ahmed Lawan, congratulating them. We know they, they, they've been on this. They, they've been fighting on this to the extent that they now brought up one that um, it was um, NCC, one other body that will now give the permission for INEC that would determine what sort of um, transmission, what sort of mode, the modalities, all the things that INEC will use. And that was so unbelievable because INEC is an independent, the name independent, independent. So they, they, they don't depend on another body to prescribe for them or tell them how um, things should work. So it's a brilliant one. Um, it's a great move. And then we know definitely change is coming. The change we've been praying for. Uh, it's definitely, definitely coming. Guys, let's hear your own take uh, down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. If it's your first time, hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.